Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this quick guide showing you how you can complete the time trials between December 22nd and December 30th. Starting off with the RC time trial, as always, you're going to need an RC Bandito in order to do this one, but in general, this one is not too difficult and unlike with the normal time trial, you shouldn't be too much affected by the snow, at least for what I could tell. The RC Bandito is still a pretty grippy vehicle and there are some sections where you won't even see any snow at all. Now following what I'm doing on screen, you shouldn't have too much trouble with this, but you know, there might be some slight bias to it. What you want to do though is that whenever you're about to take this jump, you want to let go of acceleration so your RC Bandito doesn't start spinning out as soon as you hit the ground. After that really it's just a matter of just going to the left and to the right and just following on doing on screen. Except for this bit where you have to be a little bit careful not to do the same thing as I did because those bumps can be a little bit tricky to not get stuck in and all that good stuff. So after that it's just a quick dash to the finish line but because there's snow this week I would still be a little bit more cautious than usual with this one primarily because I don't quite know how the RCPD though handles snow but because it's an off-road type of vehicle you should should be okay but it's still a light vehicle so keep an eye on it and keep it in check so you're sure that you're not going to start flying all over the place you have about five to ten seconds spare i would say so try to take your time with this one and not try to push the rcpd too much because there's really no reason for it The time trial where you're going to have to push it though is definitely going to be the normal time trial with Tongva Valley. I'm using a Baddy 801 in the example footage, but I can highly encourage you to use something that is going to be faster, and in particular either a super or a sports car. A pariah should be able to do it nicely, but because there's snow and it really doesn't like anything that has to do with water, it's gonna be a semi-bad time if it starts spinning out. So something more stable like a Krieger or any sort of supercar should do you pretty nicely. An all-wheel drive car is definitely gonna be a very good option in this one. You have plenty of options available to you, primarily in the Supers class, so you definitely wanna consider using that instead of the Batty. If you're someone who doesn't have anything else than a Batty, it's still possible, but it's going to take you a few retries. You wanna try to wheelie your absolute face off and try to get as much speed bumps as you possibly can or else you're going to have a bad time it even took me a couple of tries and the only attempt that i actually did manage to get was through pushing it very very hard the pariah has a bit of a higher top speed and should be a little bit easier to do but the problem with using a car is that the traffic is going to be easier to hit so this one is primarily about dodging traffic really so if you're good at dodging traffic you should be okay with this one Try to look ahead to see what is coming rather than what your car is currently doing because that traffic is going to be a make or break situation. The big left you have to take, try to let go of your acceleration rather than using your brakes because that way you'll be able to take the corner nicely and still have enough speed to carry through that corner. Other than that, it will really just be a matter of trial and error because this one is a bit on the rougher side but once you've done it, there's a sweet $100,000 waiting for you at the finish line. But you know who also had a tough time lately? Ripstakes. So I want to say, I'm glad you're better again, buddy. Thank you for being a tier 3 member and a supporter of the channel for as long as you have. And if you want to become a member yourself, then be sure to consider that by clicking the join button down below. But with all that said, and with all that done, that was it for this one. Thank you also very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.